hello everyone so welcome to my new video in this video we're going to just cover how to style our editor components using a, a external library so in this uh, tutorial that i will talk about the style component it is the most popular external library to style your react components so we will use this uh style component uh library for our editor stylings and it will style our elements using a dynamic CSS class and I think it is uh, really uh, helpful when we are going to design responsive uh, element that even if we want to run some conditionals or uh, stylings then I think this compile this library will be very useful for you so you have to go to the studcomponents.com website to their official website to check out its documentation so if we want to use in our custom blocks so first we have to install it because it is an external library it is something like our external react component so i'm just going to open its documentation and if we go to the installations i will see i can see we can install it using the npm or n you can use any way that you love so I am just going uh, using the npm. So you have to copy this command line and open your terminal. Just first and wait for it installation. I need to take a few minutes to finish it installation. You can see our installation is done. If we check out our package.json, we will find out a new dependencies and this is our style component that means this is style component our library successfully installed in our project now it is time to use the style component for our editor components keep in mind to one point that we can only install our editor component using this style component we never can install the front end style because the react is not supported by default and the front-end view of java's address and in the next video we'll talk about how can we style our front-end elements but keep in mind one point that we are just going to use this style component for our editor styling so if i go back to my the edit.js first we have to create a I mean this is a function uh, or you have to we have to create a component so it will be a functional component something like so the react component so I am just going to create a component here like you know student I can give that a name so like this is our study blocks or first block so what you will say first sorry first block and when we're going to use this we have to use this right if we check out our documentation we will see the ways to we have to use a style and I'm just going to select the style and when we're going to select the style we must need to have import this style so let us try to import style so import the style okay let us style from this style component package okay and our second duty is to the uh, name of this uh, tag name uh, since we can see this is this tag name is the div so we will use this div so where is this oh sorry i have already imported here also just go back here uh. So I will put on the div and we are going to use a uh, this JavaScript the string template something like this one and inside this string template we can write down any of this content or our CSS. Suppose we want to change the color. We want to change the color of this as to tag. So if you want to change the color. We can simply do it we have to pick this color uh, i mean this is the selector and our selector is the title this is our class so let us try to pick the color class title 
and you have to pick a props so props means first you have to use this component i'm just going to call, uh, copy this component name and you have to replace this div or this component name like this first block component that means now we can access to these uh, all, all elements and we will be able to control all of this styling from this custom component i mean this style component so inside this component we can pass a props like we can pass the color which is equal to color something like that we can give any name like our text color text color is equal to the name of this attribute we are using this attribute and this value is our color so i am just going to put the color here that means we will get a prop select text color and it will give the value of this prop is the color and it is just equal to our attribute name so we're getting a props here so i am just going to color put on this color property of css property and we will get a props sorry props and inside this props we will get all of these props for this uh, component we have just passed a single uh, props and that is our the text color so it will be the props the text color so if we uh, do this and go back to here to update and we will start and check out the editor like this one and you can see our all the our color is changed let us try to change the color for her like this and you can see it is changing and we're getting the effect if we check at any aspect and try to find out what is happening here you can see this is our friend and this is our as to tags and you can see there is a class and when we're changing the data the class is also changed and it is a dynamical process when we are changing this color then we are getting an extra uh, and we are getting a new unique class name and we are getting the new style also so this is the process uh, for the style component to style your any i mean this any editor component in this case we don't need to use any unique id that we have used in our previous styling uh styling method even now if we add another uh, multiple times so like we can duplicate it and if we change this color from hair and we'll find out it is generating an another unique class if we check out we can see this class is also different and it is totally an unique class from other blocks and it is individual so you don't need to use fast you don't need to pass any unique id here because this class is unique so uh, this is the process there were some lot of uh, additional settings and additional styling so you can check out its documentations to learn more about the style component so before ending this video i just want to mention you three points that we have learned the three process to stretch our editive components first one is our inline css we can use it if you like you can use this and second is our internal css that means we can pass a style tag insert our uh, render method i mean this inside this render method we can pass a style component i mean this is style tag and inside this style tag so we can write down to our inline css this is our second process and our third process is uh, we can use a an external library like a style component to style our um, this means the editor style editor components so i think uh, this is the major three way uh, to style editor uh, components or elements you can apply what uh, way you like and in the next video i will talk about how can you style our font and element and that will be very interesting so if you have any questions you can let me know so that i can help you to fix your issue thank you